Hello and welcome to part three of my work in progress series for the Assault Super Lenos. Since the last video I have given everything a nice coat of um, Alclad 2 Aqua Gloss uh, for the sake of uh, masking, just to give it like a bit of added insurance to make sure that uh, none of the paint comes off while I mask this off. And I'm going to go ahead and mask off some details here. And on these shoulder cylinder parts, I'm going to create uh, a mask for a nice stripey pattern that goes all the way around. And here's the gun all masked off. Uh, as you can see, I have applied some paint. Uh, I've put some uh, steel here. And on these, these, uh, these kind of plates that are on the outside of the gun. And uh, I have put some matte aluminium on the top of the uh, kind of spinning barrel part uh, and added a little bit of um, exhaust port uh, just to sort of indicate a bit of heat damage around where I would expect heat to appear. So now I am going to take this masking off and uh, fingers crossed we won't have any peeled back paint. The next thing I want to do is add a bit of striping detail to some of the pieces. Uh, you can see here I have an ammo cartridge here. I'm going to add two very thin yellow stripes that go all the way around. And to make sure I get the width always very consistent, I'll use one of these. And this is like a, uh, a masking tape cutting gauge. Very handy. Um, so if you can hand to uh, stick down masking tape onto your cutting board and carefully scoring along it using a ruler um, yeah saves a lot of time it's highly worth getting one of these so for the shoulder cylinder parts i've decided that i'm going to try something a little bit different i'm gonna i'm gonna try a checkered uh, yellow and black pattern uh, all the way around here. So I've tried my very best to get this as uh, kind of equal as possible all the way around. Uh, I'm going to give it a coat of yellow and then I'm going to get lots of equally sized rectangular pieces of masking tape and I'm going to make a checkered pattern that goes all the way around. So fingers crossed uh, this works and uh, let's get this um, painted. So I finished applying the black to this and while I wait for this to dry I'm going to add some panel lines to this gun. And the way I'm going to do that is by cheating, by using a artist's uh, pit pen in black. And I'm literally going to find my panel lines. And I'm going to draw right over it. And make sure the ink goes right into the gap. And it's going to look really rough to start with. But because I've given it a nice clear coat over the top, I can just get a these um, cotton buds and just gin remove the excess. And then we have a lovely clean deep panel line and hopefully you can see that on camera. 
and uh, no you can't see that very well on camera but yes that is a panel line okay I've unmasked the uh, shoulder cylinder parts and as you can see it's come out quite strong but um, relatively nice um, it's just a little bit wonky here and there but I'm looking to kind of tone it down a little bit perhaps with a wash or a filter but uh, we'll see how that goes um, once I've panel lined it and uh, giving it a nice clear coat and here's the ammo cartridge with the two stripe details on there again it's come out quite strong but I'm quite happy with that it almost looks like a decal and that just mounts onto the side of this weapon like so need to add some uh, panel lines on that one so I've given it a clear coat. So I've started doing the seam line removal on the backpack parts here as you can see and I've uh, added in the joint section here on the shoulder and applied some putty on top just to start doing some more seam line removal on this and that's ready to paint and I've also done some uh, panel lining here on the shoulder piece and on many of the other pieces and I just need to now give that a nice clear coat and that's about it from me for now um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next part bye bye